Hi students, it is a great pleasure to meet you after the long gap. Today we have to see 9th standard chemistry second lesson atomic structure. This is not a new topic to you. Already in 8th standard we have uh, studied two important model of an atom. Okay, just remember it Dalton's atomic model and Thomson J. J. Thomson model. Okay. So, J. 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 Thomson model is otherwise known as plum pudding model or raisin model, watermelon, watermelon model. Okay. So, this is a continuation part. So, you just see that the next part is Rutherford atomic model, Rutherford atomic model. So, it is a one of the important milestone in the atomic model okay, because the Rutherford is discovered the nucleus by his famous gold foil experiment. Okay. He only discovered the nucleus. You know that the nucleus means it is the center part of the atom and which is the combination of a proton and a neutron. Okay. But before first the invention of the nucleus is by Rutherford by his famous gold foil experiment. Okay. So, by his experiment he just take two important things, one is a thin sheet of gold foil and another one is alpha particle. He just passed the alpha particle passed through the thin sheet of gold foil. Okay. So, why he chosen the gold foil? Because gold is a precious metal sir, gold is a valuable metal sir that is why he chosen the gold not like that. You know that the gold is a more malleable metal. What is mean by malleability? The malleability means the metal which can be converted into a thin sheet form which is known as malleability. So, that is why Rutherford chosen the gold as a by, by using his experiment. Okay. So, the first thing you just see the apparatus by using the Rutherford, he just take the alpha particle generator radium source of alpha particle generator and he passed the beam of alpha particles over the thin sheet of gold foil. Okay. So, what will happen after fall on the alpha particles through the gold foil some of the alpha particles can be deflected. So, these are the deflected alpha particles. Okay. These are the things are deflected alpha particles most of the alpha particles goes in a straight line. Most of the alpha particles goes in a straight line. Some of the alpha particles can be deflected. So, he has some observation. Okay. So, I will write here the first one is most of the alpha rays passed straight line okay, through the gold foil. The next one is some of the alpha particles is slightly deflected. Okay. And the third thing very few alpha particles like uh, one particle out of 20,000, okay, 20,000 only one particle can be just bounce back. So, these are the observations is exhibited by the Rutherford atomic model. So, after consider the observation of the experiment, he gave some postulates that is called as Rutherford's atomic model. Okay. You just observe the first two point, atom contains large empty space. Or every large empty space have been solely considered because most of the alpha rays passed in a straight line. So, alpha particle, what is meant by alpha particles means it is a kind of positively charged particle. For example, helium 2 alpha particles means it is nothing but helium 2 plus ion, a stream of helium 2 plus ion is known as alpha particle. What is the charge of the nucleus? It is also positive. Okay. So, positive positive is always ripple each other. You know that the similar charges are ripple each other and the opposite charges are attract each other. So, that is why the first point atom contains large empty space because by his experiment most of the alpha rays passed through the gold foil in a straight line which means what 
because those that area there is no positively charged particle is there that is why the alpha particle is goes in a straight line the second one is positively charged mass at the center his second postulate some of the alpha particles can be slightly deviated which means what at the center part of the atom the high positive charged density subject is there so that high positively charged mass okay is called as nucleus that is the second postulates of the rutherford model at the center of the atom the positively charged mass is present the positively charged mass is called as nucleus the third one is the size of the nucleus is too small than size of the atom okay the whole size of the atom the nucleus you we just consider remains the size of the nucleus is too small for example you consider the football as a nucleus means the surrounding the 5 km surrounding of the football is the total size of the atom would you able to understand okay if you consider the football is a, 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 a nucleus means the 5 km of its surrounding is called as total size of the atom so that is the next postulate size of the nucleus is too small to the size of the atom the next one is the electrons revolves in a closed circular path okay so you know that the center part the nucleus is there and the electrons revolves around the nucleus in a closed circular path closed circular path which is known as orbits or orbitals okay so this rutherford model is otherwise known as a planetary model or solar system model okay in solar system what is the center part sun okay it is equal to the nucleus and the planets are equal to be the electrons okay so that is why the rutherford atomic model is otherwise known as planetary model or solar system model okay so center part what is there high positively charged mass is present at the center which is known as nucleus the electrons revolves around the nucleus in a closed circular path that closed circular path is called as orbits the next point atom is a electrically neutral okay neutral means there is no positive or negative charge sir atoms is made up of positive charge and negative charge sir because atom is made up of subatomic particles like proton electron and neutron okay proton possesses positive charge and the electron possesses negative charge then how the atom is electrically neutral sir which means in atom contains equal number of proton and electron which means a equal number of positive charge and negative charge okay the positive and negative charge is united together to become a neutral the number of positive charge is equal to the number of negative charge that is why the atom is a neutral one so the atom is electrically neutral so these are the important postulates of the rutherford atomic model the first one is atom contains a large empty space that is why most of the alpha rays is passed through a straight line the second one is size of the nucleus is too small compared then to overall size of the atom the next one is the positively charged mass okay sent is present at the center which is known as nucleus okay the next one is the electrons revolves around in the closed circular path okay that is called as orbit and the last two point atom is electrically neutral because it contains a equal number of proton and electron so these are the important postulates of the rutherford atomic model the next one is limitations limitations are drawback of the rutherford atomic model okay so according to the electromagnetic theory if the electrons is continually accelerate okay accelerate means what will happen it losses the energy continuously okay so if continuously the electron is uh, moving means it losses the energy and the orbital redu uh, path is reduced okay the path is reduced and finally it is fall into the nucleus if the electron is continuously revolves around the nucleus means what will happen it losses its energy so if the loss its energy means automatically the path will be reduced 
this is orbital okay the path will be reduced finally the electron is fall on to the nucleus so if the electron is fall on to the nucleus means what will happen the atom is going to be unstable but but the atom is never unstable atom is always stable one okay that is why it does not explain it is failed to explain the stability of the atom okay the it is the important uh, limitations of the rutherford model the rutherford model it does not explain about the stability of the atom the next topic is bohr model of an atom okay in the previous uh, sessions we had seen the rutherford model the limitations of the rutherford model uh, it does not explain the stability of the atom so bohr's model okay so it is uh, very useful to explain the stability of the atom mainly the bohr's model is explain the stability of the atom okay the first one is electrons revolves around the nucleus in a stationary circular path it is a most important thing okay the electrons revolves around the nucleus in a stationary stationary means a fixed circular path okay so the second point while the electron revolving around the nucleus okay the electron neither gain or loss the energy okay so for energy enna pandradilla it should not gain or loss which have there is no energy changes in the fixed path and the fixed path la revolve aagum bolude there is no energy change that is the second postulate okay idu da vandu rutherford atomla explain panna mudiyala because in rutherford model the electron is continuously accelerate means it loses energy the revolving path has been reduced finally it is fall on to the nucleus okay but he proposed the electrons revolves around the nucleus in the stationary circular path which means a fixed circular path okay so while revolving the electron those fixed circular path means it should not gain or loss the energy okay the energy is remains constant while the electrons revolves in the particular circular path the third one is if suppose the electrons is moving to lower energy to higher energy cells means if the electron is moving to the higher energy cells means the electron is must absorbing the some amount of energy suppose the electron is moving to the lower energy cells means okay it must loses its energy in the form of radiations okay the electron suppose if it is moving to the lower energy to high energy means it must gain or absorbing some amount of energy if the electron is moving to higher energy to lower energy means if the electron is must loses its energy by the kind of radiations the next one is in the niels bohr models the orbitals can be represented as k l m and n or otherwise it can be termed as number 1 2 3 4 so next i'll return the basic uh, bohr's model of the atom okay this is whole atom the center part is a nucleus is there the from the nucleus the first shell is k shell okay the next one is l shell the third cell is m shell okay and the fourth cell is nth cell from near the nucleus the first shell is k okay second cell is l and the third cell is m and the fourth cell is 1 n okay so you can label as 1 2 3 4 these k l m n are known as primary cells or main cells the k l m n are known as a primary cells or main cells okay so what about the energy means from the nucleus the nearest cell is k shell it have a lesser amount of energy okay if the distance increases means the energy is also increases the k cell having a small amount of energy comparatively the l cells having higher energy okay and the energy will be increases so on k1 is a least energy and l is a somewhat higher energy m the energy is higher and the n has a somewhat higher energy so the energy will be increases this manner okay so k which is a very less possess a less energy and the energy will be increases l m and n 
The next one is the limitations. Limitations or otherwise it is known as a drawback. Okay. So, what is the drawback of the theory? The Bohr model is explained only the hydrogen atom. In the model, we propose hydrogen. Hydrogen is one of the smallest atom. In the periodic table, the first element is hydrogen. Okay. So, this theory is only explain the hydrogen atom and hydrogen like ions. You know that ions means how it will be created. If the atom is losses it electrons mean it will be converted into cation. Okay. So, helium atomic number 2. If it is loss one electron means it will become helium plus. Okay. So, which means which contains only one electron. Hydrogen is also having one electrons. Okay. Lithium atomic number 3. If it is loses two electrons means remaining it have one electron. It is also similar to the hydrogen. Beryllium atomic number 4, it have a 4 electron. If it is losses 3 electrons means remaining it have 1 electron. So, these ions are similar to hydrogen. So, that is why it, the model is applicable only for hydrogen and hydrogen like ions. It does not explain the multi electron nucleus. Okay, multi electron nucleus means more than 3 or 4 electrons if suppose is there carbon number 6, atomic number 6, nitrogen, atomic number 7. Okay. So, this model is a failure to explain those kind of element. It only applicable for hydrogen and hydrogen like ions. Okay. Thank you.